What's up everyone, it's Boy and it's Racing 97 aka Nathan Sickman and welcome everyone to Charlotte Mode Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina as we are set for part time qualifying for race 10 on the season tomorrow night here for the CircleBeatPodcast.com 200 on Memorial Day weekend, right before Memorial Day weekend and we are about to see which four truckers will make it into the first race after the halfway mark of season 4 of the series and I am Join by Bonsmith up here in the booth. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Nathan. Uh, as we see the the first truck roll out out of pit road, it's a treat being back up at the booth, uh, especially here at Charlotte. I've been to Charlotte uh, a couple times. Uh, I'm, uh, nothing but positive things to say about it. I love the atmosphere about how this is, you know, the hub, the, the central home of NASCAR. So I mean, I love everything about it. I think that we're gonna have a uh, a uh, good qualifying year, but most importantly, a great race. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be a fantastic one. A lot of uh, drivers and teams running some Patriot schemes tomorrow night, so that's going to be really cool to see. But first off, we got part time to qualify to decide who makes it into the first race of the second half of the season. And of course, with this being only two races left in the regular season, Charlotte and Pocono. It's getting down to crunch time here as the number 97 of San Oscar will be the first one to make a time as we got the 62 of Logan Williams jumping out right in front of him coming off pit road. It's going to be interesting what we will see here because this track it is a mile and a half like we've seen the last couple of races in the Power Truck Series of Kansas, Darlington, and Texas but it's nothing like any of them. It's kind of like Texas but it's going to be kind of a little bit of fall off and Actually, I think it's going to be like one, one, one and a half second top off after the one is over. So it's going to be really in, insane. I have to see if, if multi-group racing ends up working out. But right now, the 14 is the fastest so far. With only five trucks doing it at times at the moment. I was really hoping that Logan Williams would get out of the way of the of the, the 50... Uh, what is that, the 54, 50, uh, the 90, the 97 Smet Hoskin, my bad. I was really hoping that Logan would get out of the way, but, what was that, two laps ago, so. I think, I think that might have hurt his lap a little bit, but Smet seems a bit unfazed from that, and he's just trucking along. I'm sure top four will make it as always this season, and right now, eight drives have clocked in a time, and the 62 got the drive behind of Sam Oskin and Logan Williams to the top of the board now. Williams, Oskin, Raymond, and Mark of the top four as of now. And then right now the 43 of Tyree Cartman jumps up into the fourth place spot. And I think, yeah, yeah it's going all over the place. Now the three of all miles jumped up to third and Trevor Williams shooting up to fourth. And with it being a mile and a half, draft might play into a little bit of factor for these truckers, but it's not going to play into that big of a factor because of the tire and the bumps. Charlotte's getting old, at least somewhat old, and uh, the bumps pl definitely play into a factor, so Williams got a little bit of a draft, and now the 97 has a little bit of a draft off the 54, but right now, those are the top two right here, and then Miles in third, and Trevor Williams Jr. in fourth. See those three trucks get in the draft there. Yeah, that should help their time up significantly. Look, Williams actually just jumped up to the to the top of the timetable. He's the first driver to break into the to the 28s. Uh, we'll see if anybody here in this three car draft can do the same as we have now. Less than six minutes to go. Less than six minutes to go, and times are still jumping all over the place. It's the two gonna go down pit road, thinking that he might be good to go. The 35th of Boreto jumps up to the top, or not the top, but the third, and then Miles back up to fourth, as the 10 and the 54 was in the top four, but now they are out. And one thing that I'm noticing that these truckers are trying to find multi grooves to work here. I think the bomb's gonna be where you want to be, but these guys might try a second or third lane throughout uh, the session, and especially tomorrow night in the circlebeatdiecast.com to win it. And it's going to be interesting of how much the multi crews really play into a factor here as we might see a pass for the 97 and 54 and no not quite as the 6 of where Paris jumps up to second. Up for advances that 97 there, uh, Smed Oscar, he's in danger so he needs to get a move on, he needs to get past the 54 Skyler uh, Taylor. 
So we see this. We see this going on. Uh, I guess you could call it a consistent two-car draft for now, but uh, now it's uh, looking like a four-car draft. They're trying to replicate what three cars uh, a few laps ago tried to do. We'll see if it pays off here. The three car currently is fourth, and uh, the 41, I don't know if he's in this uh, group of cars, but we'll see if anything happens as they cross the line. It does not look like anything changes on the timetables, but... Oh, the 41 is there, so... He's also on that cuff, so he kind of needs to, to get on the back bumper of somebody to make something happen. Yeah, We're around four minutes to go. We have four minutes to go. We got the 10, the 3, the 6, the 41, the 14, and the 35. Six struts all in the train here. Now we are getting racing here in part-time qualifying as Miles going to go two wide, and Paylor might make it three wide. Now he's going to sit beyond the, the three, and that's something that we might see here t uh, tomorrow night. Is That is how you get it. A pass down here at Charlotte. Mostly it will be on the inside lane, but maybe the out outside lane might be able to get uh, something wrong. But oh, and Miles slipped up, and now the six of Pales is going to get to the inside. The number 10 is going to go down pit road, and now Ty's, I think, are starting to play into a factor. And especially for, for Pales and Miles, they're both in as of now, so they're just, I think, racing a little bit getting some information in case they make it into the, the show tomorrow night and right now it's looking pretty good for Williams, Parrish, Oscar, and Miles with three minutes to go in part-time qualifying. Glad Parrish was uh, smarter than that uh, around uh, two laps ago trying to make that uh, that move around the, the two cars. I'm glad he didn't make a three wide because then that would probably bring a premature end to the part-time qualifying if they would have gotten three wide because three wide here that's really risky four wide I mean, that, that's it. You cannot go four wide here. You, you can squeeze it, but it's pro it, nine times out of ten, it's probably not going to work. Three wides, like I said, risky. It's doable, but you got to be the right driver to do it. It's 14 seem to slow up there. I don't know if uh, the three Owen Miles was going to go to the pits, but they're still, they're still going. Uh, not much happening at the moment. I think everybody kind of put in their fast times unless... Uh, you know, the drivers that really do want to put in some fast times to challenge the top four are going to come into the pits, put on some new tires, and see what they can do, get in that draft. Because I feel like the draft is going to be most important of all, uh, along with the tires. So, what do you do if you want to, if, Nathan, I'm asking you, what if you're one of these drivers that are just outside the top four that needs to get in with two minutes, with less than two minutes remaining? Well, I think uh, I think you should do kind of what Cole Raymond did, because he, a couple of laps go out of fantastic lap time, jumped up to fifth on the team, I'm on the charts, but then, as you saw, Miles kind of slowed him up, um, up, and Raymond's definitely on four flush tires, I think one of the few on four flush tires trying to sneak in, he's also close to making it in, but now he's stuck beyond my, uh, the number six of Parrish. And I think Taz is starting to fall off and might not look out for him. Might have to watch out for the number 10 of Timo Mauser. He's back out on four flush tires. And that's going to be important. Tyler, you don't really think of it being that big of a deal here, but it, it can be. And it definitely is so far. And with a minute to go, the 14 and the 6 are going to catch up with the 10. And maybe... He can jump up from ninth to make it into the top four. I think it's gonna be the the ten of miles is gonna be the biggest threat for the number three miles if he makes it in or not with the ten on flush tires. Timbo's in a pretty good spot here. He's uh not even in the there he is ninth. He's P9. We'll see what this lap can do. Not much. He's got thirty three seconds to go to make it back around and well, I think he'll make it back around for one more lap, so this will be his second to last. We'll see what he can do. Driver's coming out. I think they may be a little too late, especially if you're coming out of the pits right now, you're not going to make it. So if you're on track, like the 26, I believe he just came out of pit road, he's going to make a last-ditch effort. He's going to get this lap, and that's going to be it. That's going to be what he's going to have. 14 just crosses the line. He's still at P5. He's going to have one more lap to go. This actually is more interesting than I would have thought. 
Yeah, there's gonna be a couple of resets for these guys to finish the lap times here, but now the ten is right behind the 43, trying to get a little bit of a draft. This might be close for Mauser trying to make it into the show here, but the 43 might actually be slowing oh, him down. Slow him and I think that's gonna we'll cost him, and it does. Ah. The twins is all by just himself. Misses out. 14 just missed out, barely. Yeah, now the 43's holding these guys up, and I think that's going to do it, most likely. Unless someone jumps in in the last 20 seconds, as I think this is the last extension of time. It's getting a little bit racy here now with these three drivers and the 26. I feel like if the 26 of Jeff Leafle had a little bit, little bit of a draft, we'd maybe have a little bit more uh, speed and have a little bit of a shot, but that's going to do it. For part time qualifying here at Charlotte, and it would be Logan Williams, Will Pierce, Sam Oscar, and Owen Miles making it into race number 10 on the season. A very interesting part time qualifying session, and unfortunately for everyone else, Cole Raymond on down. They will have to wait f until Pocono two weeks from now for the regular season finale and see if who can make it into that one. So, Bronson, what's your final thoughts here in part time qualifying before we get to the race here tomorrow night? I'm glad, I'm glad you gave me a little bit of time to talk about what I thought. What I think is, because Logan Williams, Will Parrish, Smet Osgan, Owen Miles, they all went very early. You you didn't see them come out with competitive laps late into the run with like three minutes ago, like all the other drivers were trying to do. They were trying to make it in, like uh, the 10 car, the, uh, the 14, all of them. So Logan Williams, he already set that fast time early on. So I think if you're going to take this to another mile and a half that we may have down the road, then go out early. I, I, I believe it worked in Vegas. It worked here. So possibly implement that for for future purposes. Yeah, for sure. I believe we have a couple of mile and a half left throughout the season. We got a lot of short tracks in the chase, but I do believe the now is the good... and the good old homestead so that might be something that, that these drivers can take over to homestead for the season finale but it's going to be very interesting of what happens here at charlotte Motor speedway tomorrow night on a, a memorial day weekend almost and uh let's see what happens here and uh for bronson minnick congratulations to williams parish oscar and Ma for making it into the show and we will see you guys tomorrow night Right here at Charlotte Must Be Ray for the Circle B Diecast 200 at Charlotte. Until then, bye!